We have an update tonight on a Better Call Bank investigation into a high-end Camaro that was stolen and eventually sold to a Polk County man. Yeah, that man bought the car from online car dealer Carvana and had it for 17 months before it was confiscated by law enforcement. 8 on your side, consumer investigator Shannon Bank joins us now as she's getting results. Jane Keith, I am happy to report tonight that a Carvana spokesperson tells me the company has taken multiple steps to make this right for their customer, and I have additional details on how this car ended up for sale by Carvana in the first place. You may remember Roger Johnston's unusual story. He paid nearly $74,000 for this 2018 Camaro ZL1 from Carvana in July 2022. 17 months later, when he tried to sell the car to another dealer, that dealer discovered the car had been reported stolen. And that's the VIN on the car. So somebody switched out this VIN. Yeah, so that's... they pulled the windshield out, scraped the old one off and put a new one on there. This VIN is fake. Correct. It doesn't even exist. Right. The vehicle identification number, or VIN, shown on the windshield and inside the driver's door didn't match another VIN found under the hood. Roger called me for help, saying Carvana wasn't making things right and he was stuck with a car payment, even though the Polk County Sheriff's Office confiscated the car. A Carvana spokesperson tells me here's what's been done since my report. Carvana has issued a full refund, including the original down payment and all monthly payments made. The remaining loan balance has been paid by Carvana, and the dealer provided Roger with additional compensation for his time in trouble. The next question, how did this car end up in Polk County? The sheriff's office tells me they have confirmed a criminal used a fake ID and fraudulent payment to buy the Camaro from a dealership in Tyler, Texas in early 2022. The VIN was manipulated and then the car was sold to Carvana. What is still a mystery is how this car was registered with a VIN that never actually existed. A spokesman for the Tyler Police Department tells me that they have subpoenaed records from Carvana, but Carvana hasn't responded yet to that subpoena and that they also do not have a suspect yet. I was told that any information on how it was stolen or submitted to Carvana will be evidence in the case, so they can't comment on that just yet. I think I said it the first time around. That's a cool looking car. It and is. Then you kind of wonder what's going to happen to this car. What, what's next? Yeah, it's still a little bit of a mystery. The Tyler Police Department tells me that it would normally go back to the person or entity who reported it stolen. So I checked public records and it shows that an insurance company who paid out the claim is the one that reported it stolen to law enforcement. So likely it'll go back to the insurance company, but maybe it'll be on the road again. And it'll be resold again. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it goes very fast, though. That's the only thing when I look at it. It mm -hmm. seems slow. Is it me? Yeah, not so much. <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. All right, if you have a problem, then you saw